morning, ladies and gentlemen. Well, at least it's morning for me. Good whenever you're watching this video. But anyways, I am out here doing another kayak fishing tournament. Only in this video, we are just on day one practice. We are going to make this into a two-part video. I'm not going to put in the title part one, part two, but you guys will know. You know what I mean? So I am out here in the uh, middle of nowhere. Wisconsin driving around this little road that's why I'm able to record like this but literally pulling up to the kayak ramp right now my buddy's not going to be here for another two hours I'm like I'm just scouting a little couple ramps for us before he gets here and uh, I'm going to see what I find but I don't really want to make the intro too long I actually just want to kind of vlog the whole experience of practice and really show you guys what kind of fish we can catch because in my last two tournament videos I didn't put a lot of uh, footage of practice, so I want to make sure that you guys get the full tournament experience in this video. So, let's do it. We're giving you the whole vlog experience today. I just pulled over on the side of the road literally middle of nowhere on a whim saw on google maps that the river is literally right on the other side of this hill and there's a nasty rocky point right there so i got a little mag draft tied on it's just what i had tied on so we're gonna go check it out might as well turn the truck off i have my keys in my pocket but you never know what tim buck to mother f yeah this video is not for the kind of people that are used to me just hopping in the creek for 15 minutes and catching a small mouth and then saying goodbye we're we're giving you guys the whole experience like i said i want you guys to see this is the kind of things that i do when i'm fishing like and like the little side quest that you do and how everything is not always a straight line it's not always a linear mission i have some boots in the car i'm wearing crocs right now i probably should go get those boots because it's kind of not that it's nasty right here but it's wet and dewy but it's beautiful out here man jeez the Wisconsin River, folks. We didn't catch anything at pit stop number one on this little five inch mag draft, but you know what? It's just, I mean, God, it's gorgeous out here. And it's even more amazing. Like, I love just not having anybody out here with me. Like, I'm sorry. I love people and, you know, I'm a social guy, but this is nice too. <laughs> this is nice. So, we're going to keep driving along the road right here, make it to the boat ramp, and we're going to keep casting along the bank and we'll get back to you guys when something eventful happens or something cool happens or what not. But uh, see you guys when that happens. All right, folks, me and Matt are out here. We finally are floating on the river. I know I recorded a little bit earlier, trying to trying to make this a little bit, you know, a little vlog, a little adventure, so you guys can kind of see how the day progresses. I was bank fishing earlier. I think I caught one on camera when I was wading and just, you know, meandering through some rapids that I was near by the first boat ramp that I tried out. Now, now me and Matt are here. We're doing a float. And we're just gonna we're just gonna work it, man. Work it and twerk it. See what we can't catch. We got another day to practice tomorrow too. So I'm gonna make day one and day two of practice one video, and then I'm gonna have the turn be its own video. So hopefully, these two practice days we get into some action, not only for you guys but for me. So you know I have something to go off of for that tournament, and me and Matt can go get a coal. But it didn't go deep. There you go. There, there you go. There you go. Here, let me put my camera at you. Dude, we're gonna flip them. Ready? Yup. There you go. Get them. Oh yeah. Oh god, you can't even flip them. Oh my god. Oh, he won't. Yeah, he won't. He won't coming off. All right, folks. Look at that fish Matt just caught. Easily 18 and a half inches, probably. 18, 18 and a half. We get five of those tomorrow. Matt's winning the tournament, G. Getting us a little check. Yeah, we found a little stretch that nobody knows.
Oh my God. Matt, one just ate my shaky rig on the surface. He, he just didn't get it. <sighs> Got him. Shake your head. Biz bait. My rod's bent like an idiot. What am I doing? He doesn't know what he's doing. All right, there's a rock jetty right here. And I just had this, I don't know if it was, honestly, the one that missed it, I think was bigger, bro. Cause it was a way bigger swirl than this little thing. This is a keeper tomorrow though. So not that I want five of these tomorrow, but I mean, it would, it wouldn't hurt. That shaky head hook came out perfect. Oh, oh my God, I'm on. on the spinner bait. Yep. Oh my god. I hate when you flip them in the kayak sitting down. You're like trying to grab them. Oh, he just slapped me, didn't he? On that Molik spinner bait that I was literally just hyping up. Another keeper. Okay. Well, we found... Oh, we, okay. <laughs> well, we found an option. We found one option so far that has fish, and that's a confidence booster, because that means we know... We don't know, but theoretically, theoretically, people, we know we can limit. All right, guys, well, obviously, we're out here on the beautiful Wisconsin River. My buddy Matt's just up the river right here. I'm just beach on this bank. There's a nasty little, you see this little creek channel? There's some rock walls on that side I want to fish, but it is skinny itty bitty up in here. But I don't know, I'm having fun. Caught a couple fish, some off camera, some on camera, but we're practicing, we're having fun. I don't want to make this practice video too long. I kind of want to keep this just one of those like, A, we're out here on the Wisconsin, we're grinding, and hype you guys up for the next one, but I still want this one to also be good. So we're going to continue on our path and get some more action for you guys. Stay tuned. Like it's definitely a shallow is a bitty. Oh, got one. True. On the spinner bait. On the spinner bait, probably a keeper, maybe not. He's long, he's a small mouth, I don't know, but it's a fish and it's something to reward us for coming back here, cause good Lord. You knew there had to be some fish once they got deeper back here. Like for real. Look at his little gremlin. Look at him. Look at him. He protecting the house, G. Look at him. You see him, Matt? He's a menace. Oh, I just got hit again, dog. Let's just say I'm glad that we got off the water. It is pouring. It was raining all day, but at least we were able to get off the water before this crap. Alrighty, folks. So I know 
day one of practice of the first video because this video is just practice remember that no tournament in this video we've been a little jumbled we've been a little bit all over the place but i want to let you guys know we're at the gas station we're grabbing some snacks grabbing a couple beers we're gonna go back to the hotel room and you know get a little decent get a little tipsy get a good night's sleep put ourselves to sleep really because we don't gotta wake up too early tomorrow we're just doing practice it's gonna be raining in the morning so we're gonna get a little i don't want to say a late start but we're not gonna get out there at 6 a.m you know what i mean so get a little belligerent and i'll see you guys in the a.m what is going on folks it is day two of practice out here in well not in but on the wisconsin river at the hotel it's morning just took a shower we got dressed ready to go conquer the day just gotta go grab my toothbrush at the truck real quick freshen up and then we're gonna go hit walmart grab a few baits because we found a pattern yesterday and I don't have enough of the base that are going to get bit, to put it simply. So we're going to go to Walmart. Usually the Walmarts out here in these rural Wisconsin areas are pretty much like mini Bass Pro. So we'll get everything we need, and then we'll see you guys in the water at the ramp. Whenever I see you, we're going to see you, but just be ready to see me. Let's get it. folks we're out here you're gonna recognize where we're at right away yeah we're in a pretty basic area everyone knows about it but oh top water first cast first cast Plopper. First cast just came up and bombed it. It'll keep. It'll keep. No, oh, he's hooked in that scary I'm gonna fuck you up way. Alright, keeper on the whopper plipper. Oh, he unhooked himself. What a nice lad. All right, I'm going to show you guys this fish in the net real quick. Oh, my God. Okay, you see it. It's a little, you know, six. it's a 15 and a half incher. We're going to put him back because he's being a little menace. There he goes. And my Neko rig, the O-ring, saved my worm. Let's go. Pike! It's a pike! Pike! pike. Oh, it's a bowfin! It's my first bowfin ever! Let's go. No! Oh. No! That was a big one, dude! Yeah, that's
day two of practice. These practice videos, I'm still getting used to this tournament stuff, so I do kind of focus in more on the fishing. Let's wait for that motorcycle to leave, huh? All right, Mr. Harley Davidson left, which no hate, love a motorcycle, but too loud for me to record. Anyway, so I know these practice videos are, I don't know how I'm editing them. I'm obviously still in the moment, right? But to me, they seem pretty jumbled up. Hopefully for you guys, you can leave me a comment down below and just give me some feedback. And you know, maybe I did a good job and you guys love the video. Maybe there's some a couple tips and pointers. You know, just give me something that you guys would like to see out of the next two-day format video I'm gonna do. Because I do have one more kayak tournament this year. Probably two if I could sneak in some, you know, like little single, not league tournaments, just like one off. But my point is I wanna make these videos better for you guys. And there's gonna be other two-day format tournament videos that I'm gonna make. So just again, advice down below would be appreciated. But I'm I'm hoping that once I get home, I can put this all together and still make it a masterpiece for you guys, but we'll see what happens. Anyways, if you made it this far in the video, that means we've made it to the end of the video, which means I really appreciate you watching, but you guys are helping me get that watch time, helping my videos get shown to other people. You're helping YouTube know that people like watching these videos, right? So just keep doing that stuff. Keep watching to the end. Even if you, you know, watch one of my videos and you're like, oh, this part's boring. Skip ahead, go to the next catch, whatever, but just try to make it to the end. It really helps my channel out. Anyway, that's enough rambling. I feel like I went off a little bit right there, but got a little anxiety and hype at the same time for tomorrow. So my mind's racing a little bit, but we're gonna tone it down, head back to the hotel room, get a good night's rest, and we'll see you guys in the morning for the tournament.